two quick stories about why to never judge a book by its cover. So my dad was selling cars in Chicago in the 80s for the, um, for the Lynch Auto Group, okay? And they had a Porsche store. And my dad was at the sister store, so it was like Porsche, Subaru, some absurd like combination, right? And so he's on, the, he's on the showroom floor and, you know, wide open, you know, back in the day. And, you know, this old lady comes in, okay, that had always been walking up and down the street. And I'm sure you may have heard some iteration of this story, so just bear with me, all right? But, you know, up and down the street, she used to walk by the store. So everybody saw her. It was predominantly Eastern Bloc, you know, you know Polish, Lithuanian neighborhood, really cool, right? Um, and anyways, this, this lady comes in. And she sits and she talks to my dad. And she's like, you know, Mr. Kadri, I'd like to buy, you know, I'd like to buy that Porsche on the floor. And it was a 924 or whatever it was, right? And so, you know, my dad sits and talks with her and, you know, kind of goes through the motions and, you know, kind of tries to qualify her and, and see what the deal is. And, you know, she had a blue collar job, had been in the States for, you know, 20 something years, had been there, you know, kind of, you know, you know, kind of pre Berlin Wall type deal, you know. Anyways, um, works the whole deal, goes through it with her. They agree on the numbers. You know, of course, time comes to ask for payment. And I kid you not, lady reaches in her big bag or big, like, you know, jewel shopping bag or whatever it was back in the day and pulls out just a stack of cash, okay? And she buys this little Porsche 924 that she'd been eyeballing for, you know, a lot of years. And she'd been saving money. So ultimately, again, it comes back to don't judge a book by its cover because I've been guilty of this as well, okay? Um, I'm going to give you the flip side to that. Now, fast forward, you know, 16, 17 years later, and I'm working, you know, I'm working at a, at a Mazda dealership, okay, and I'm on the floor, and, and this is when the Mazda Millennia had just come out, and it was like, everybody loved it. It was the hottest car, it had a rotary engine, you know, years later, come to find out it wasn't all that great, but at the time, pretty fantastic car. And so these, I see these people coming in, of course, and not to be stereotypical, but, you know, it was an Asian family coming into the dealership and it was a Honda Mazda showroom. And I'm selling cars back when Honda's brought full pop sticker and, you know, you could charge two grand for air conditioning, a grand for, you know, the radio system and, you know, clean up on a Honda Civic, right? So you have this Asian family coming in and, you know, I'm, I'm Pakistani and, and half Pakistani and half Finnish. And, you know, I know what, you know, everybody in the car business thinks when they see a Pakistani or an Asian family comes in. So it was kind of the same type of response. So I felt the need to dip out and say I was going to lunch. So fast forward an hour and a half or so, I come back from lunch. My buddy John Schmidt, who took the up, worked the deal, and made a $13,000 payable on a Mazda Millennia. And so I left to go have that five ninety five dollars uh, buffet at China 2 and lost, because back in the day we got 30% commission on the deal. So what is that? I lost about four grand because I judged the book by that cover. So don't be that guy or gal, all right? Take every up, all right? You know, everybody needs wheels, all right? You know, even if they rolled in on a Schwinn, somebody's going home in a car. But, you know, take that opportunity and work everybody to death because you never know who's going to make that mortgage payment for you. So just remember, shake every hand, sell every car, be the best you can be. Sell like hell.